So if you're familiar with Six Point Brewing out of Brooklyn, you're probably familiar with their Three Beans Porter. You may also be familiar with their follow-up to that, the Four Beans Porter. But then there is the Five Beans Porter. On the, um, the box for it, the four pack, it's described as a bizarre porter, B-A-Z-A-A-R, not B-I-Z-A-R-R-E. And they explain that on the can here. If you're tired of run-of-the-mill flavors, maybe some coffee and exotic spices will perk you up. We gathered five beans from the bazaar, there you go, to create a cultural phenomenon, a melting pot of cacao, vanilla, coffee, and cardamom creates our original Turkish-inspired porter. So the cardamom is the different element of this one to differentiate it from the four beans and the three beans. I honestly didn't know if I was going to find this down here, and I saw it today and picked it up, and I have been waiting to try it ever since it made its way into my hands. 10% um, ABV, so this is a strong one, and while I pour it, I will, um, I'll give you a little story of uh, my history with, um, I've had four beans and I've had three beans, but three beans holds a weird special place in my heart. You see, um, before I was really concentrating much on style, there were times where I would look at the ABV content of a particular beer and um, just look at that in terms of, okay, this will get me fucked up pretty quick. And the fact that it came in a can made it easy for me to, let's say, allegedly hang out um, in the back seat of a car. It may have been my car. It may have been another person's car. I don't know. I, this is all alleged. Um, and enjoy that on a lunch break. Now, it wouldn't have been chilled because uh, it would have been sitting in the car. But mm, allegedly, I may have bought three beans for the sole purpose of distracting myself from the hellhole of my life that was my job at the time. Um, of course, I have no job right now, which sucks for different reasons, but let's gloss past that. Um, and I wasn't really, at the time, I don't think I was appreciating three beans the way I should have. Um, it was providing a different experience now that I think of it, drinking it warmed instead of chilled. This one's chilled. I've had it in the fridge. Uh, let's see, I bought it maybe about three hours ago. So it's been chilling in the fridge for about three hours. It's not ice cold, but pretty good. So you see that very, very dark right there, as it would be expected. Oh, wow. Getting the coffee, getting the vanilla, getting the chocolate, that whole roastiness off of it. Oh my god. God, that smells fantastic. And it's, it's reminding me of what I loved about Three Beans, despite not really knowing at the time why I was loving it and just looking at that 10% ABV. Um, and to be fair, I don't even know how to describe cardamom, so I'm probably smelling that too, but there are people out there with better palates than me that can probably pick that up more, or at least more worldly palates, I suppose but the aroma right there is fantastic. And I actually had this at the perfect temperature, not too cold, not too room temperature. For 10%, it actually it masks the alcohol very well. I, I remember, for some reason, I remember four beans being a little bit more boozy, but again, maybe my palate's evolved so the booziness doesn't hit me as much. I mean, I, I have a bottle of uh, Prairie Bomb sitting in my fridge that, I think that's at like 13%. I'm curious about the booziness of that. Um, I would expect the 13% to freaking knock me over. Um, probably that's going to be coming up in a review in the coming weeks. So um, we'll find out with that. But the booziness in this is very, very managed. And it really lets the flavors come through. Very roasty. You, you get that chocolate. I'm getting the vanilla. It's not as strong as in the aroma, but I'm getting it there. Um, damn it, I, I, I really wish I had experience with tasting cardamom so I knew if I was picking it out or not. I'm feeling a, like a, a spice to it. Um, a spice like, uh, I guess, a spice in terms of like cinnamon, not like heat, but um, tingle. 
guess that's the best way to describe it. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a wordsmith. Sorry. That is really, really, really fantastic. And it's a little pricey. Um, it's a four pack and I think it's, at least here it was like $12. But considering what you're getting here, I'd say it's well worth it. Um, Six Point knows their porters and this is no exception. Uh, very, very happy to have gotten this. And it's, it's nice that it's not too heavy. Um, I've said it before. I sometimes step back from the like the 10% and above beers just because I feel like it's going to be too heavy for me or it's going to you know, knock me the fuck out and I got shit to do. But this one, I'm very happy I got this one. I'm going to savor the other three cans that I got from this four pack. Very, very, very good. Very happy with that. So out of Brooklyn, Six Point Brewing, five beans. Pick it up if you can find it. I will see you guys for the next review and happy Thanksgiving.